physical science. Have you ever wondered why this course is called physical science? In this lesson, you're going to get a taste of what the physical in physical science means. You see, in this amazing world that our Lord has created for us, we find all sorts of different matter with a vast array of different properties. Think about it. Some matter is shiny, while some is very dull. Some is black or white. There's some matter that has amazing colors and a range of different colors. Some matter conducts electricity. Some matter does not. Some dissolves in water and some will not dissolve. There's all sorts of different properties that the different kinds of matter around us have. In this lesson, we're going to learn why some of those properties are called physical properties and why some are called chemical properties. And as we learn that, you're going to understand just a little bit deeper what physical science is all about. Let's start with the definition of a physical property. Simply put, a physical property is something that you can observe about a substance without actually changing the substance into an entirely new substance. A physical change is like a physical property. A physical change is when you change some characteristic, some property of the substance without changing it to a new substance. So that's what a physical property and a physical change are. Here's another way of saying that. When you observe a physical property, the atoms remain chemically bonded the same way. When a physical change happens, the atoms are chemically bonded together the same way. Let's take a look at a real world substance that undergoes a physical change, which is a change to a physical property of the substance. And that substance we're going to take a look at is ice. I want you to take a look at this ice cube, but also take a look at the molecules in the background. Do you notice that those are water molecules? Each has one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms bonded together. Now, when water molecules make ice, there's this other weaker type of bond that forms. I represented it in the background with dotted lines. That weaker type of bond holds the water molecules together as a solid. What happens if we heat these water molecules up by adding energy to them and break apart those weaker bonds in the background? Will that cause a physical change or a chemical change to happen? Well, look what happens to the water molecules. Notice when I melted the ice and turned it into liquid water, those weaker bonds disappeared, but the water molecules are still bonded together as water. I didn't actually change the substance. Therefore, this was a physical change to a physical property. The state of matter that a substance is, is a physical property of that substance. What if I change the state once more, add some more energy, and turn this liquid water into water vapor or gas? Well, let's take a look at what happens to the molecules then. I'm going to cause them to spread out, move more freely, move more quickly, but notice that those water molecules are still an oxygen atom bonded to two hydrogen atoms. That makes this a physical change to a physical property. And the physical property, once again, is the state of matter. Now, there are a lot of other physical properties that you can observe without changing a substance. Let's imagine, for example, a nugget of gold. And here are the atoms that make up that gold nugget. Now notice those atoms are a certain distance apart and each atom has a certain amount of matter inside of it. Since the atoms have a certain amount of volume and a certain amount of mass, I can measure a property of gold. I can measure its density. When I measure the density of gold, I have to measure its volume and its mass. Notice when I measure those two things, I'm not actually changing gold to a different substance. That means that this is a physical property that I'm observing. Another example of a physical property can be observed if I run an electric current through gold. As I move electrons through the gold, 
Notice that the gold doesn't actually change to a different substance. I just move electrons through it. That means that whether it conducts electricity is a physical property. So a physical property is a property that you can observe without changing the substance to a different substance. But what happens when a substance does change to a different substance? That would be a chemical property and a chemical change as the substance changes the arrangement of its atoms to make an entirely new substance that wasn't there before. A chemical property can only be observed by changing one substance to another. In other words, the atoms change how they are chemically bonded together. Let's take a look at an example of this. Here is a nugget of iron, pure iron with iron atoms bonded together. Whenever iron contacts oxygen in the air in the presence of moisture or water, the iron is going to undergo a chemical change. The iron is actually going to corrode, combining with the oxygen to form a new substance, iron oxide, and iron oxide is commonly referred to as rust. Notice that we entirely changed the bonds between the substances that were there before. Before we had iron bonded together as a pure crystal, and we had bonded together two oxygen atoms to make a molecule. Now we have a crystal made up of iron atoms bonded to oxygen atoms. And it looks entirely different than the arrangement of atoms that there were before. Because we rebonded the atoms, this was a chemical change. And we would say that the ability of iron to combine with oxygen and make rust is a chemical property of iron. It can only be observed by changing the substance, pure iron, to a completely different substance, iron oxide, which has completely different properties than the original substance had. So to recap, a physical change is a change to the physical properties of a substance. And it's one in which you can change something about a substance without changing it to an entirely different substance. Physical properties can be observed simply by observing the substance and not changing it to something different. A chemical property, on the other hand, actually can only be observed by changing the chemical bonds between the atoms. And a chemical change occurs when those bonds actually do change and one substance becomes an entirely different new substance.